these cooling towers are heating up the environment, even though they aren't releasing any greenhouse gases. The clouds coming out of the cooling towers aren't smoke. They are made up of water vapour from the cooling system used to condense the remaining exhaust steam after it has driven the turbines. This part of the process carries away heat, a valuable energy resource that's gone to waste. The amount of energy lost from UK power stations each year is around double the energy consumed by all UK transport. If you take into account the energy lost in transformers and transportation, by the time electricity reaches your home, two-thirds of the energy used to make it has been lost. That's enough energy to heat every home in the UK. If power stations were built on a smaller scale near houses and factories, the heat that would normally be lost could be used to heat homes, schools and businesses, and less power would be lost in transfer making the power stations up to 90% efficient and cutting both our heating bills and carbon dioxide emissions. This is already happening in Woking, where the council has built a combined heat and power plant in the town centre. Can you spot the power station in this aerial view of Woking? <laughs> 